Hey guys, how's it going? Today is Monday, June the 13th, and I got some orders to pull. I had a pretty good weekend. I have 27 orders. Actually, it's more like 34 orders because somebody bought uh, 10 money clips off me for $174. But uh, total for the weekend for me was $1,235.53. So, not a bad weekend. Alright, I got a mess in here, so I'm trying not to trip. Anyway, so a hat. A uh, Cleveland Indians mesh, mesh uh, fitted hat with a big C logo here. I got this for a dollar at a local thrift store and even stained. I didn't even bother washing it. I wiped it off though. Um, got all the lint off the bill and stuff. Sold for $30 free shipping. So I think I probably could have got more for it if it wasn't stained. But I couldn't find one like this at all. So I figured I'd try 30 bucks, and who knows, I might have priced it too low. But... It sold within a couple of days. All right, sold these Nikes. Uh, they, they say just do it all over. Uh, these are like a women's size eight, if I remember right. Sold these for $40 free shipping. I got them at Goodwill for $6.50 and they've been listed less than a week. Um, they have condition issues. If these were in really good shape, I could have probably got double. All right guys, next up is this Hummingbird uh, Fish Finder. It's model 195C. No idea if it works. I got an estate sale in a box of like random stuff that just it's stuff that most people don't even look at, like like light fixtures uh, covers. These ones are brass. Anyway, just a bunch of random like new and packaged things for ten dollars. Um, so I sold this as parts uh, not working for twenty six dollars even. Uh, if it worked, it, if I knew it worked, I'd probably get eighty to a hundred for it. All right, phone did something crazy, so I don't know what I just said is recording. But I'm having another problem. Uh, my scale is not registering that there's any, anything on it. I left it on all weekend. So who knows what's wrong with the, with the thing. Uh, it's a nice scale. It's lasted me for four years. Uh, sold another book. Uh, this is 2nd Infantry Division in World War II. And got it at the Mega Hall uh, with all of the Franklin Mint planes. This sold for $29.99 free shipping. Another thing I'm doing is I'm recording this uh, video series, not really a series, but it's probably going to take six months to make this video. Um, I'm doing like a self challenge of how long it ships. I'm doing like a self challenge, how long it's going to take to ship an item to all 50 states. I'm only on day, this is like day seven, I think, or six, I don't remember. So what I'm doing is going back and looking at which states I haven't shipped to yet and refilming all of this with these items. <laughs> So, it's definitely time consuming, but it's fun. And all right, next two things I got here. Uh, first one is a graded baseball card. This is Gavin uh, BGO 2019 Tops Chrome Purple Refractor. I got it on an online auction, paid like eight dollars for it. It's a gem mint 10, so um, highest you can get, and it sold for $29.99. Next up is this little resin. Uh, figure here some elephants uh, nothing special I paid a dollar for it I had an estate sale um, it sold for $14.99 free shipping no just the tusks on the mama elephant there broke so I mean it's photographed that way but I didn't disclose it so we'll see what happens as I'm shipping it all right so one thing I've been doing at the last couple sales I've been going to is picking up everything Elvis I can find because uh, there's a new movie coming out this month this isn't one of the things. This actually came from an online estate sale auction over a year ago where I won almost 250. I don't remember the exact amount. It's at least between two and 300 Elvis, only Elvis records. Um, I'm down to one crate, so I have about 100 left and made all my money back on like the first three or four albums because there was definitely some uh, rarer ones in there. So Elvis is not that big of a collector market anymore, but um, with the movie coming out, so I got a lot of, it's going to be, so with a lot of these records that aren't that desirable, I saw have listed, because you know, all the best ones are gone, um, starting to sell these pretty regularly. I've sold like 10 Elvis records in the last two weeks that have been sitting in my store for over a year. So this sold for a uh, $17 free shipping and not bad. So it's all profit. All right. Next up is pretty cool sale. I got, uh, 10 money clips where I, I got a lot of them um, 
for 50 bucks at an estate sale recently and one buyer bought 10 of them for 174 dollars uh, i'm gonna line them up here and show you real quick all right so you can see uh, these are all las vegas casino related money clips so i have five left that haven't been uh bought yet but these all sold within a week of listing them so most of these casinos aren't even in open anymore so that's what makes them collectible mostly and the person at the bottom had like seven thousand feedback but he didn't have any list items listed for sale so he's just a major collector or he resells the stuff not on ebay right, guys sold this uh tennis racket bag it, the brand is head it's an andre agassi um bag i looked up i can't talk sorry i got this at uh goodwill for like 4.99 it had two really crappy tennis rackets in it i actually just left them there on the shelf um this racket that uh, for andre agassi was well over a hundred dollar racket so i figured the case had to be worth some money and it was i sold this for 54.99 so and it sold within a week All right, so we've got most of my media in that room. Um, these are Sony cassette tapes. They're high fidelity, they're not high bias, so they're not as good. Actually, they're normal bias, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's a 16 pack, 15 of them in this box are sealed, one is opened. Um, this would have been worth pretty decent money if it was sealed, but it came out of a storage unit and I sold these for $18. Um, they are over a pound and they do not go media mail, so I'm not making a lot on this, but whatever. All right, so a couple pairs more shoes. These are Pro Pet brand. Um, some of this, not this style, but some of this uh, brand of shoes can go for decent money. These are in really good condition. Paid $4.50 for them at a mom and pop thrift store uh, up in Rock Hill, South Carolina. And I took a best offer of $22 free shipping. So not great, but it's bread and butter. We got these distressed looking uh, cowboy boots. I forgot what brand they are. Um, these are women's, sold for $39.99. Uh, this is actually the second time I've sold them. So hopefully they stay gone this day. All right, sold this uh, Teak. Uh, I think that's how you say it. Correct me, tell me how to say this properly. But I say Teak, T-E-A-C. -E uh, it's a CD duplicator. Um, I got this at that Essane Hall with the planes, so not military related, something I got there. Oh, and it sold for uh, $61 plus $20 shipping. And it sucks my scale don't work because this thing's kind of heavy. All right, next up are these coffee mugs. They're actually Lindenburger. Um, I have four of these. I won them on an online auction for $8. And I sold this pair for $30 free shipping. So it's probably going to cost... You know twelve dollars to ship because these are like a pound a piece it feels like um but yeah seven dollars for four of them it's still a pretty decent return and this thing is a giorgio armani figure i don't know i don't think it's the giorgio armani like the guy that makes the perfume and clothes or whatever i, I don't even know if i'm talking if i'm if what i'm talking about anyway this uh lady i got an estate sale on the second day where it was half off for $25 um, fun, st fun story about this one I was like fifth in line for the sale and the guy that really wanted these was first in line but he went and concentrated on some uh, like Dan Barry Mint coca-cola figures that even at half price were still too expensive to sell on eBay so I skipped these and the lady remembered me from the day before and helped me round these up there's like five or six so I was able to get them all and then he tried to buy them for me after I already paid for them for double and I was just like for double the price why didn't you come here yesterday and get them so I just said no thanks sold this for $129.99 uh, it is free shipping so it is, but it is going to Delaware so it's not going to cost that much I've uh, had like junior rackets one's junior one's not I'm pretty sure I listed these together. I paid like $3.99 for them at Goodwill. They were together at Goodwill also. Uh, sold for $25 free shipping. So again, not really a great sale, but these are going to have to go to UPS. I'm going to wrap them in some uh, bubble wrap and put them in a poly bag. So 
uh, inexpensive rackets. It's not going to hurt them. I'm going to do it all the time. All right, next up is a couple more bread and butter items. Uh, we got some little tyke figures here. I uh, had these priced for $14.99. These came out of a storage unit. I was hoping they'd be worth more because some of these are actually pretty collectible. And I accepted an offer of $10 free shipping. So, you know, I'm going to make a few, few, few bucks. I mean, it's first class, so it's good. And then we got some Pepsi semi trucks here. Uh, you can see they're from like Big Lots, 99 cents. Um, I don't remember where I got them. These had to come in a lot of other cars, and I just put them up for sale. Uh, these sold for $12.99. All right, next up is a couple of books. Actually, more than a couple of books um, or magazines. This magazine's called The Mailbox. It's for teachers. Uh, my wife had 58 of these. She no longer needed anymore. Um, I got a bunch of low-ball offers for these, but I knew they would sell for full price. Sold... 58 of them for $69.99 plus $20 shipping and it's definitely can go media mail because there's no ads in these it's more like a trade paperback than a magazine and next up it's another conflict portraits of conflict for another civil war for this is for uh, Louisiana hardcover book same as Sane Hall this sold for $21.99 free shipping and it's going to cost like $4.50 to ship so not bad I right, sold a pair of Nikes. Uh, these actually have a little bit of condition issues, so they would have sold for a lot more. It took about three months for these to sell. I had them priced at one seventy nine ninety nine, and every time I get a waff, an offer, a watcher, I send an offer for one nineteen ninety nine, and finally somebody bit and bought these. So these came out of a locker that was mostly shoes, and these were the best pair out of the bunch. So. I don't remember what they're called. They're up tempos, I think. I'm not sure. But um yeah. Pretty good sale. Alright, got another racket. This time it's a racquetball uh, racket. It's a Hogan comp. I don't remember where I got this to be honest with you. I've had it listed a long time, probably two years. Uh it sold for $19.99 free shipping. So like I said, not great, but it's gone. Alright, I got this pretty recently, had an estate sale for two dollars. Uh, sold for $19.99 free shipping. It's a little brass pedestal like holds like an orb or something. So All right, these guys came out of little tykes uh, dollhouse uh, vintage I got it at Goodwill for $10.95 um, I left the whole dollhouse at Goodwill and took all the accessories that were in it in little plastic bags. So these sold for $24.99 free shipping and took less than two weeks to sell. Alright, the last item that sold over the weekend is this uh, Pirates of the Caribbean Disney um, CD player. I don't try to open it. It's been sitting up there for a while. Uh, this came out of a storage unit. There's the button. There's a, a heart in it. Pretty cool. It actually works, except there's a little sensor on the door that's broke off that probably makes it auto stop when you close the lid, which is disclosed, of course. Uh, this took a little bit to sell, and I'm guessing it's sold now because of the, the Johnny Depp trial on the, radio, on the news. So uh, $41.99 plus $15 shipping. Hey guys, Matt here. I'm back for another uh, day of pulling orders. If you're watching this video, hey, if you like this content, please hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate it, and hit that like button too. So anyway, uh, I got some really good orders to pull today, and let's get started. First up is this uh, amplifier here, a little mini amp. Uh, it's a urban guitar collection, and this is why I bid on this one locker. All I could see was the, uh, the, the grill here, so I didn't know what kind of amp it was. Um, didn't do really well on this locker. This sold for 50 bucks plus shipping and it's going to New York. So at least it's not going to be that expensive. And if you've seen my other uh, earlier, I was talking about my Wi-Fi is not working on this computer out here. It's still not working. So I'm switched to my GoPro so I can look the stuff up on my phone easier instead of walking back and forth to the office. Uh, but I got 13 items going out. That was the amp was the first item. Um, 
it's not even that good. So I got some really good stuff today. All right, next up, there's five items going to one buyer for a total of $344.98. And let me show you real fast. We got an F-86 Sabre Jet from Franklin Mint. This came from that insane haul that I had a couple months ago. Uh, this is all profit at this point. I accepted a best offer of $85. This Franklin Mint MiG-17 for $89.99. This is a Dauntless II, or a Dauntless VS-2, U.S. Navy World War II plane, sold for $100. This is a CDC armor, so before Franklin Mint bought them out, of a V, an F4U Corsair, U.S. Navy from World War II, sold for $69.99. And on a separate purchase, the other one was a combined purchase, that he came back and bought this Spitfire from CDC Armor for $70. Alright, next up is another book, Echoes of Battle, The uh, Struggle for Chattanooga. So it's a Civil War era book. Well, not era, but it's from history book, basically. Uh, took a best offer of $21. Alright, next up is this uh, Brita water filter. Got an estate sale for a dollar. Brand new sealed, $12.99. Got these uh, specialized uh, cycling shoes at Goodwill for six fifty, and they sold for twenty nine dollars. All right, sold the last pair of these London Burger uh, coffee mugs. Um, and you notice I just sold these, and this, this is going to be the same video from earlier. So these sold for thirty four ninety nine. All right, this is what's left of an Electrolux vacuum cleaner and parts I had for sale. Um, these are going to go UPS, and. They sold for $21. Sold the Chevy 1936 passenger car care manual for a whole $9. I had this listed for a long time for $15, so just took a best offer. It's pretty beat up, so. All right, the next two sales are really cool because I haven't released the video yet. Um, I find these at the flea market, so I'm not sure how good the footage is with my GoPro. Um, and I don't know how much I actually have because I was kind of looking over it the other day and it looks like I'm missing footage. So still learning this thing. But I got a huge lot of cameras like these. This is this is a Nikon uh, Coolpick L18. So this one sold for $27.99. And this is a Nikon Coolpick A10. And this one sold for $65. I have 86 of these style cameras. A lot of them are A10s, so, and I paid $200 for all of them. Plus some DSLRs, Nikon, uh, their D3100s, some flashes, like a whole bunch of stuff. It's crazy. You have to watch the video when it comes out, which will be probably the next one after this, as long as I have enough footage. All right, next one's a pretty good sale, too. Uh, this is a Waterford Crystal Cruise Ship. I got this on an online auction and paid like $40 for it. Uh, it took like less than a month to sell for $124.99. Um, those cameras I just showed you, those sold in less than 24 hours. I listed them yesterday. Actually, I listed them yesterday evening and they sold uh, last night. So pretty good, but this is pretty good too. All right, and last but not least, this is another killer sale. Uh, two of these aircraft sold to one buyer. Um, they're both BF-109 Messerschmitts from the Luftwaffe, Germany, World War II airplanes. These are pretty rare color schemes. Uh, this one sold for $174.99, and this one sold for $124.99. So, uh, bought full price. Um, somebody was watching this. I tried sending an offer, and it said quantity available zero, and it took like 15 minutes to show up for the sale. So, pretty awesome sale here, and these are small and it should be pretty easy to ship. All right, guys, really appreciate y'all watching. Uh, if you're new here and you're still here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. And see you in the next episode.